120 million blocks. That's the same distance as flying around the Earth three times, or double the distance of a Minecraft map. And I'm going to travel it in less than a second. So to find out how this is possible, you'll need to watch till the very end. A while ago, I made a video where I traveled to the world border, and it was really cool. So I want to do it again, but this time see a world border on each side of the map. So let's pick a direction and get walking. Wait a second, we have a big problem. I just did the maps, and we walk in Minecraft at 4 meters per second, which comes out to just under a year of straight walking. There's got to be a faster way. Wait. These would be faster. Be my friend. Wow, this horse is really playing hard to get. I will tame you. Yes. I think he's my friend. Now we need a saddle. And if we put this on him, he is faster than walking, but I think we can do better. Let's try this guy. Okay, yeah, this guy is much faster, but I can't help but think we could get even faster. So I've spent some time building this. Behold, the horse speed measuring machine 3000. So as you might have guessed, this machine is gonna help us measure the speed of the horses. Um. Did you just see my carrot? So let's test this one. Bang, nine blocks per second. That's decent, but as you can see, the fastest horse we can get is around 14 blocks per second. So now let's search for that mystery horse. Perhaps it could even be this one. All right, what will horse number two get? Nine blocks per second. You guys can chill together. Wow, this one's moving fast already. I think this guy feels faster. Horse number four, will he be able to do it? There we go, 10 blocks per second. He's the fastest one so far, so he gets to live in a hole. Bro. Horse number five. Hmm. Horse number six, seven blocks per second. That is terrible. So what if it was a donkey? It should have been a faster donkey. Wait, we already have a horse, but I can't remember if it was fast or not. You shall be horse number seven. All right, here we go. Ooh, 12 blocks per second. You can go in a slightly bigger hole. Now, if we can find another 12 blocks per second horse, we should be able to breed them and get the possibility of an even faster horse. Or at least I think that's how it works. So that's how it went for a while. I would find horses and then measure their speed until this happened. And I definitely didn't have to stay up all night to get this guy. Anyways, now that we've got him, we can breed him with all these 12 blocks per second horses and hopefully get our hands on the elusive 14 block per second horse. Okay, so to breed horses, we need golden carrots, which we can get by grabbing some emeralds from here, heading down to our basement and trading with these guys. All right, that should be good. Okay, so for breeding them, all I'm gonna do is take a 12 block per second horse, introduce him to the mega horse and make them make a smaller horse. Yay! And once he grows up, we can put him to the test. Any horse that scored 12 blocks per second would join the others. But anything below that, well, they got disposed of. I've killed so many horses and we're still no closer to the 14 block per second horse. We haven't even got a 13 one. So I've had to make the decision to use this one as our horse. So this horse is about three times faster than walking. Though you may be thinking this journey will still take us four months to complete. But that's where you're wrong because one block in the nether actually equals eight blocks in the overworld. Meaning this horse won't be traveling at 13 blocks per second. It will be traveling at 13 times eight, which looks like this. Also, there won't be obstacles like this because we'll be doing it on the nether roof. Speaking of which, yeah in the portal. And I guess let's just see how far you can get in 10 minutes. Starting now. All right, that's 10 minutes. Let's see how far we got. Oh my God, we spawned a zombie spawner. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Wow, 63,000 blocks away. But on my journey, I think I discovered a problem. You see, 10 minutes is quite a long time, especially if you have to hold down W that entire time. I mean, my hand kind of hurts now. Imagine it after 120 million blocks. So unfortunately, I think that rules the horse method out.
at this point, I was feeling quite sad. I had spent days trying to get the perfect horse and it was all for nothing. But that's exactly when I had an idea for a machine that would change everything. It will be made out of slime blocks and honey blocks and it will be a flying machine that flies us all the way to the world border automatically. Meaning I won't have to injure my hand to do it. So first up, let's grab all the slime blocks we're gonna need. Down the little weird hole. Yoink. We'll grab all the redstone stuff and finally we can get the honey from the bee farm we built last episode which was very good by the way so i recommend watching it hello bees and seeing as we're here we might as well build the flying machine on top of the flat earth all right i've only built this once so let's hope i can remember how to do this so observer facing that way sticky piston um oh we need to remove this one <laughs> observer sticky piston slime next one is honey back to slime and then we just repeat this for a bit and whilst i'm building that i want to introduce you guys to someone say hello to mini lockdown life <laughs> i'm literally like every other hardcore youtuber now wait what's that you want to say something subscribe to lockdown life now and help him reach 1 million subscribers so make sure to subscribe before then to become an og well said mini lockdown life now back to the machine um that was definitely not supposed to happen can we fix this by somehow sending it back the other way um that should not be there <laughs> oh it's all going wrong Okay, it's finally done. It looks so cool. Here is my spaceship. All right, so to test if this works, we're gonna see if it can go from the flat earth all the way over to the solar system. So if we break this. What? No. All right, I think I fixed the problem. Let's try out version 2.0. This time, instead of having concrete behind, I've added extra honey and slime blocks because the machine couldn't pull them along. It could only push these. Or at least that's what I think. We're about to find out. Oh my God, the same thing happened again. This is spaceship version 5.0. Yeah, we're just not gonna talk about three and four. But now if we hop on here, make sure we're on the honey block. And if we break this, now this should take us all the way to the solar system. All right, and if my calculations are correct, this obsidian I put here should stop us. So now we've got a machine that actually works. Let's try it out in the nether. All right, nice, it's all set up. Let's see how it compares to the horse method in 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes and I broke the machine, but let's see how far we got. Okay, looks like we're in some kind of weird cave. But the most important thing is, wait, we only got 11,000 blocks away. That is so slow. What are we actually gonna do? I mean, I did sort of have an idea whilst I was flying. Okay, hear me out. We all know ender pearls can be used to teleport you in Minecraft, but that alone is not very useful. However, if we use a TNT cannon to shoot an ender pearl thousands of blocks and continue doing that multiple times, we might be able to get to the world borders really, really fast. However, I soon realized that this ender pearl cannon idea was not gonna work because you can't use water water in the nether. Who would have thought? At this point, I was a very sad lockdown life. I mean, even mini lockdown life was upset. I thought there was no way I'd ever be able to travel 120 million blocks in Minecraft. And I seriously considered giving up and just going to bed. That's when I decided to go and pay a visit to my old friend, Mark. And he told me not to give up because if you never give up, then you can never fail. At least that's what I think he was saying. <laughs> Nevertheless, Mark was right. Now was not the time for giving up. It was the time for research. So I threw myself into the world of books and learned to challenge the very physics of Minecraft itself. Eventually, I started to see hope. And before I knew it, I had a plan. So I've discovered a way to travel 60 million blocks across the map and then 60 million back in only a few seconds. But this is going to take a lot of preparation, so let's get to work. Oh, I doubt my lights are on. The first thing we're going to need is about 60 shulker boxes. So thank God for last episode. To build the machine that's going to let us travel in seconds, we're going to need redstone and a bunch of these other items. Okay, now we just need some of the obsidian we got from breaking all the pillars in the end. And that's pretty much everything we need to travel 120 million blocks in a couple of seconds. However, to make this work, we first need to travel to each of the world borders and actually set up the machine. And to do this, first, we're gonna need some more elytras. I say we're gonna need at least 60 more. Bring on the end city. Ooh, 
ship already. No, we are going to have to go a lot further away. Is this one going to be looted too? Yes, it is. All right, I've just put my render distance on 32. So now we should be able to find all the end cities. This has got to be like the biggest end city without a ship. Oh, yes. Okay, maybe... Yes, Elytra number one. Only 59 more to go. There's a weirdly rendered half ship. It's missing the side with the Elytra. Oh. Yes, actually a full ship. I never thought I'd have to be worried about that. And Elytra number two. Yes, Elytra number three. Number four. Uh, yeah, number five. This is actually going pretty fast. And Elytra number nine. One full row of Elytras. And Elytra 13. There's 17, 24. And here is Elytra number 27. A whole shulker box of Elytras. But there's still 33 to go, so let's speed it up. Okay, and with this final one, we now have 60 more elytras. Now we're going to make them even better by adding unbreaking three and mending to each one. These guys are about to get a lot of business. Right, that's mending added to everything and that's unbreaking added to everything too the next thing we need is rockets because without them elytras are pretty useless and we're gonna need thousands of them so let's afk at the creeper farm come on creepers die and give me your powder wait i've just realized if we replace these campfires with soul campfires then it should kill the creepers a lot faster the creeper flow is blocked so once this guy dies we should be safe to go in all right and break these and replace them perfect now we can just unleash the creepers no don't blow up oh my god all right so now we should be able to get gunpowder a lot faster Okay, it's been a while and all of these chests are now filled with gunpowder. That is over 100,000 gunpowder. But now it's time for the second ingredient of fireworks, which is paper. And for this, we're going to need to fix this sugarcane farm because I'm pretty sure one of the hopper minecarts is not meant to be down here. Okay, I've pretty much fixed it. So now if I tap this, it should go along and collect all the sugarcane and bring it into these chests. So I'm going to leave this running for a couple of hours. And whilst it's running, turn all this stuff into paper. All right, and now we're gonna use this paper and combine it with gunpowder to make fireworks. But not just any fireworks. We're gonna make flight duration three fireworks, which means that one rocket will be able to take us a lot further. Okay, with these two shulkers in here, we now have 34 shulker boxes full of flight duration three rockets. That's gonna be more than enough. So now let's just get our final few items. Firstly, a shulker box of totems because this journey is gonna be dangerous. Now we're gonna need a bunch of golden carrots so we don't starve to death. And now we should probably make sure all of our elytras are at full health. It is so loud. And now we'll just craft up a bunch of ender chests so we can have constant access to our items. Nice. And finally, the last thing we need to do is build all the redstone. So this first thing is going to be a chunk loader. And now we just build the exact same thing in this nether fortress. I might just block this off quickly. Now all we need to do is fill this up with blocks and fill this up with blocks. And now it should be working. Yes, it's working. Basically, all it does is throw sand through the portal, which will keep this chunk loaded even when I'm millions of blocks away. So for this, we're going to need a daylight sensor and we're going to set it to night mode. Then we're going to dig down here and make ourselves a nice ender pill stasis chamber, which should work if we just do this. Nice. Then we can add this trap door and wait till nighttime to throw the pearl. Don't worry if you don't understand this redstone stuff because I've literally spent hours coming up with this plan and I barely understand it. Bruh. Anyways, now we need another one of these chambers. That is not right. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. But this time we need a big delay. Then we just need a redstone torch here and a button. Let's just make sure it works. All right, looks good. Now I'm just going to get my inventory sorted and when it turns night, we'll throw the pearls and we'll be on our way to the first world border. All right, it's night. Let's throw it. Do you mind? Okay, it's night now. Let's throw our pills. They're all good. And now let's start our 30 million block journey to the first world border. All right, so we're going to head directly up first. And I think we're literally going to do this until we break our first elytra. As you can see, I've put the mini HUD in the top left so you guys can always see the coordinates. I wonder how high we're going to get. 
I think my first elytra is about to break. Oh, there it goes. Uh, let's not lose too much height. And then we'll do the same until this breaks. And then we should be able to just glide from there. It won't take us all the way to the world border, but we'll just see how far we can go. Not gonna lie, seeing this high number is actually making me a bit nervous now. Like, what if I get stuck at the world border? This could actually be the end of my world. I've literally been flying straight up for about an hour now. Okay, when we run out of rockets, like now, we're going to readjust and go at minus 25 degrees as the angle. Now we literally don't have to do anything apart from every 30 minutes we need to come back and swap out our elytras. All right, so we've got four and a half hours worth of elytras, and I think this is gonna take about 20 hours, so I'm gonna be awake for a long time. All right, we're coming up on the first 10,000 blocks traveled. There we go, and remember, one block in the nether equals eight blocks in the overworld, so we're actually at minus 80,000 right now. Well, there's 50,000 blocks. Oh. Let's go, 100,000 blocks. Just 3.65 million blocks to go. Yeah, I'm gonna watch a couple of films and whilst I'm doing that, try and think of a name for you guys. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below. Right, a little update. We just ran out of heights and we've nearly run out of elytras and we're at 835,000 blocks away. So now we're just gonna restock, get more fireworks, and now literally repeat the same process of flying straight up in the air for thousands of blocks. I'm literally having to click my mouse every second for multiple hours to do this video. So make sure you watch to the very end because it's gonna be so cool when I travel 120 million blocks in just a few seconds. Ooh, here we go. We're about to hit 1 million blocks away. Let's go. Everything's looking good and I'll see you at 2 million. Oh my God, this is taking a very long time. And there's 2 million blocks. We are now over halfway and we're finally over 3 million blocks. Only about 600,000 more to go. If this doesn't work, we're gonna be so screwed. Right, here we go. We're about to reach it. Once we hit 3.75 million blocks, we are at the world border. And there we go. Now it's time to get to work. The first thing we need to do is build a chunk loader. Before we light it and go through the portal, we need to make sure that it's nighttime when we come out. And the only way to do that is to wait until the day number changes and then wait an extra 10 minutes. All right, the number just changed. So now we just wait exactly 10 minutes. If we get the timing wrong, this entire idea will be ruined. Okay, when the timer goes off, we light the portal and go through. Oh my God. We're only gonna have about eight minutes to build everything. So we need to make sure we do it fast. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Oh my God, we're exactly at the world border. Wait, is that gonna be a problem? Let's break this portal and instead let's make it more central in this chunk. No, we can't sleep. Why didn't I bring my ax? Get out of the way tree. Oh, not a creeper, come on, leave me alone. Okay, we need to get this portal built. So just in case we can go back through if we need to. Oh my oh, God, hello, there's so man. many phantoms. Wait, I think it's nearly daytime. We're not gonna have enough time this time. So let's just set this up as best as we can. All right, we'll leave it like this for now and we'll come back tomorrow and do it. That went so badly. All right, it's time. And there's a zombie. There. Ow. Can they not? All right, I'm gonna kill these guys. Now we can set up the enderpeel stasis chambers. All right, this is gonna be the first one. All right, nice. That's set up. Now we need the other one over here. All right, this should be deep enough. Then if we have a button on that. Yeah, that closes it, perfect. And now we have repeaters going into this and we need a lot of them. And we are running out of time again, so let's do it on a another night. I'm literally burning wood to get torches. Let's light up the area with torches first, just so we can get rid of all the excess mobs. This should make it easier. All right, now we need to carry on placing these. Why is there still mobs? Just keep coming. No. Nope. Oh my God. Okay, it's all been leading up to this. Will this work? The first thing we need to do is throw a pearl. Now we need to do this next part really fast. Otherwise this entire video is gonna be scrapped. Okay, so click and then sleep straight away. When we wake up, we're teleported. We need to click that button and then we'll be teleported all the way back 30 million blocks 
and then we need to throw a pearl there. Perfect. And now we're back at spawn, but we have a pearl all the way at the world border. Oh, that was stressful, but thank God it actually worked. Right now, before we leave to the next world border, we need to make our way home, which is going to involve a lot of repeaters. So let's grab all of these and a bunch more repeaters. And now we just put as much delay as possible. All right, that should do. And now we just throw our pearl here and that's our way home sorted. All right, now we can just literally repair all of our elytras. And now it's time to head to the complete opposite side of the map. That is in the way. This 20 plus hour journey was pretty similar to my first one. The only difference being I was a bit more relaxed this time, so I made a few more mistakes. However, during the last couple of hours, the magnitude of what I'm doing dawned on me. My PC had been running Minecraft for over 50 hours straight, and coming up with the plan nearly drove me crazy. And I'd added nearly 300 days to my hardcore world. And yet, if I was successful, I was about to travel nearly half the speed of light, all in a block game. And there we go, we are here. Let's see the world border. There it is. It's in a completely different biome to the other one. Well, obviously, it's literally... 60 million blocks away. Right, I'm gonna burn this tree out of the way. I'd be lying if I said the pressure wasn't getting to me. All right, is it gonna work? So it should work if we put a block on here. Yes, it's working. All right, we need to be quick. All right, straight away in this chunk, dig down. Water on top, soul sand. Kelp, kelp, kelp. Nice kelp all the way to the top. Break it, and we'll set that to 0.5 seconds. That's how long that is. And if we throw a pearl, all right, it's set up. So when it goes night, we are going to be teleported from here, x equals 30 million, to x equals minus 30 million, and then back again to here for a total of 120 million blocks traveled. All this work leading up to this. Okay, we're about to find out, is this actually going to work? Come on, please. We put so much work into this. Yes! Oh my god, it actually worked! Let's go! And whilst I'm waiting to be teleported back to base, you guys should watch this video next. There we go. We are back at base. We are back at base. 